Okay, we have the wind generator as it is out of the box. We haven't modified it anyway, just uh, take it out of the box, plug it all in. Now, I've seen some other YouTube videos where um, I've recommended this technique where we use galvanized pipe here, it's a gas or water pipe, um, with a short bit at the top so that you need to, if you need to access anything inside here, then you can do that very easily. You can just crack the top off. If we follow the cord around, oh, we're only a part way through the installation, obviously. Um, up on the roof, you can see the mast sticking out of the inside of the roof. Now, the main reason it's mounted so low is uh, we may have complaints from neighbors. So uh, the idea is to keep that um, in the, while we're experimenting um, out of the view of the neighbors so there won't be any uh, complaints coming from that direction. So again, you can see there's galvanized pipe there. We've got a short length, and theoretically, if we wanted to make that a longer one, we could uh, use the, so that's a 900. We, it does come in 1.8 or 1800 mil um, lengths, which you could do. And then you might have to start considering using guy ropes. So the way you can use guy rope is, again, this, this, um, galvanized pipe has awesome stuff that you can do that with you see this flange here you can put that in the middle of the join and you can then run guy wires off here and uh, from uh, my previous radio operator days we certainly did radio antennas like that so okay we'll go and see what's inside the roof okay, we're inside the roof space here it's pretty dark um, so we can see coming out of the uh, roof there we have got some flashing there to make sure that we don't get any leaks. Uh, I'm going to put this batten up here in a minute. Actually I'll have to get a bigger one. That one's too small. Uh, but I will do that. Um, so we have our pipe coming down out of the ceiling um, against a brace here. So we're bracing against two sides. I will put a clamp uh, here uh, just to make absolutely sure but as in fact um, the technique here that I'm using is uh, I, I've attached onto the truss a uh, serious lump of timber but I've also reinforced the truss um, with some extra with an extra reinforcing beam um, again what we're, now there can be some quite a bit quite a bit of force on these on this pole so we don't want to compromise the uh, structural integrity of the house obviously but also we and the other thing is we, we don't want any noise to be translated into the frame and uh, uh, so that those are the key considerations is um, we, we don't want to make uh, damage the, damage the house by having this here and we also don't want the noise to translate um, through this pipe because that's an empty pipe so um, it's very likely that we could do that now the way that the way that we do this here is um, we, we may actually have one more support added just here um, just to make sure that that load that it, we're now adding to the side here is uh, transferred directly to this solid beam on the floor here. That's probably a, a good plan. Uh, but essentially what we have is the pipe going through the full center of full width of this. As it turns out, you can never... Um, by hand, uh, using a spade bit at least, uh, get all the way through um, perfectly straight. So that kind of gives you a, a, a fortunate thing is that um, now when we screw this in tight, because that's not perfectly correct, it'll actually pull the pipe in firmly against the supports. Um, and again, so I've got another one down here, uh, same story. So when you can see at the moment, it's um, it's actually not lined up and it's, uh, I haven't screwed it at this end, mainly because we haven't put the generator on the roof yet. Um, but when we bring that in, that is going to put serious pressure. You can even hear, hear it there. So um, I may even have to, again, this, the, the main problem is that uh, when I drill this, um, it, it's a little bit imprecise process. Okay, and so you can see we've got the cable coming out of the bottom and we'll eventually go into this. Now, the trick is that we'll have to unbolt this to screw it on and then flush it down because there's no way we can spin this whole thing because it's going to hit the support there. Okay, so that is uh, halfway through the uh, installation. We'll do another video a little later on 
uh, when we've completed everything.